I'm Melody. Hi, I'm Mitch. And we're the Guns from the Guns Homestead. Welcome to day four of the Cocktails of Christmas. And tonight's treat, on the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me, cool Christmas carol, Cosmos. Cosmo. And a partridge in a pear tree. Hey, you close the box. You do. I close it that way. There you go, mister. Mr. Bartender, sir. Phew. And tonight, by the way, is vodka again. Because it's a cosmopolitan. Apparently there's a lot of vodkas involved, but we have whipped cream. That's all we have, so hopefully it'll go good. I'm going to go for him. Add some ice and shake that puppy. Fine, bartender man, <laughs> sir. Fine. Yeah, but don't worry. I'm limiting myself to a reasonable amount of alcohol. Thank God I'm not paying attention. <laughs> you know, you know what we didn't do last night? We didn't do our um, home for the holiday survival kit excuses. Oh, you got you got stuck itis. <laughs> So let's let's see how bad tonight's uh, excuses. Excuses to leave a family holiday party early. Yeah. I since you didn't get a uh, shot glass. Oh no! <gasps> I can get one. Sorry, guys, guys, sorry. As many shot glasses as we have, I knew I forgot something. Well, you know, we're allowed at least once, right? That's three. That's a lot of shots. So, uh, That's let's see. Shot. Tonight's tonight's excuse, I ate Aunt Edna's dessert, and now I feel that I may see it again. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that makes me really bad on the mess this time. Oh, good. Getting better. Shall we hear that shaking? And shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake your booty. Down. Shake your booty. Down. You know, I tried to say no to vodka, but it's 40% stronger than me. So, by the way, the Cosmos said to put them in a martini glass, and as you can tell, you know, we don't have that perfect bar set up, no martini glasses, so this is what we get. I suggested margaritas because it has that, you know, big shape, but he didn't like it. Based on volume, and that looks better than having a mostly empty freaking margarita glass. I guess you got the drum glass. All right. To day four. Cheers. Day four. Cheers. Let's That'd see how this one is. Day four, everyone. It smells like sugar. Yuck. That's not bad. Yeah, that reminds it's me fruity. of that. Reminds me of that last one I didn't like. That for strawberry one. I bet no, it's got the same is, stuff in it. No, this is more. Um, Kind of watermelon -y. N -n 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 -n. No, I hate watermelon. Well, it doesn't have a flavor on it, so it just says Cosmos cocktail mix, so. It's not bad. No, it's like that, um, the old bomb pops you used to get as a kid way back when, before they made them red, white, and blue. Mm. The bomb pop. <laughs> Roxy would like bomb pops, wouldn't you, Roxy? I know you're watching. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, today's, so today's adorable decoration was brought to you by my Aunt Judy. Thanks, Judy. Love you. See, I still have this cuteness. Yep. I gotta do my thanks. Oh, you know, I'll share another story. 
I know you can't see again. Lamp's another it, oldie, but classic. Isn't he great? I love, I picked him up at a, I think it was a garage sale. I love him. It was a garage sale. It was. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think to get him out earlier, but I yeah. just saw him in the corner. It's like, oh, he needs to come out. Yes, that needs to go over there. Okay, we'll put him on that side next time. Yeah. So it's not your face. So, so I'm going to share another story. Hang out with all the other stuffies you have over there. I only have one. He's permanent. He's temporary. Mm -hmm. So it's another necklace. Go figure that one out. But this one is cute. It's adorable. I actually got this one from my coworker Jim and his wife. I was country spice at the time, and he knew I was into Western. And when they saw this, he knew I liked antiques. One of the three charms was missing, and they thought it was kind of funny, so they bought it as a joke. And then when they actually got it, there was a third charm. At the time, they were pregnant with triplets. And now, unfortunately, they did lose one and ended up having just two. But this was a great little thing, and I still have it. So thank you, Jim and Betsy. I still think of you guys all the time. It's funny, it's the first time I've seen it. I've shown it to you before. No, you didn't. I even told you the story. See how no, well he pays attention to me? No, you didn't. No love. Here, have a drink. Good, good. Oh, hey. Odie suggested that we do a poem. So I found a little poem. She wanted me to write one, but uh, I'm not writing no poem, sorry. These are, um, what do you call that? Limericks. The free ones that I shouldn't get in trouble by YouTube on this because it said oh, it was. copyrighted. Yes, that thing, so. This, is a, this one's called Snowball. I made myself a snowball as perfect as could be. I thought I'd keep it as a pet and let it sleep with me. I made it some pajamas and a pillow for its head. Then last night it ran away, but first it wet the bed. <laughs> oh, come on, so great. What else? Oh, here, I got another bad one. What? How's your drink? It, I'm sorry, it reminds me of that first strawberry one. So, here's one. Uh, a Yankee walks into a bar in Alabama and orders a Cosmopolitan. Go figure. The bartender looks at the man and says, You're not from around here, are you? Nope, replies the man. I'm from New Hampshire. The bartender looks at him and says, Well, what did you do in New Hampshire? I'm a taxidermist, says the man. The bartender looks bewildered, so the man explains. I'm out dead animals. Bartender stands back and hollers to the whole bar, it's okay, boys, he's one of us. <laughs> it's bad, I know. I'm sorry. It's probably one of your better ones you found. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay, now you know, dead animal taxidermis bar jokes for Mitch. <clears throat> I'll find some more for you. Unless anyone else has suggestions. Or Poems, Scotch, suggestions. Irish, English. All right, so did you hear the one about the... Uh, Three guys that walked into a bar, an American, an Irishman, and a Scotchman. And they all ordered drinks. Three beers, right up at the bat. And simultaneously, all these flies come in and three land in each one of their drinks. The American looks at his drink and looks at the fly and says, oh, it's disgusting, bartender. Get me another drink. The Irishman looks in and goes, hmm. Throws it out, takes a swig. Now the Scotchman, mind you, he pulls the beer back, looks at the fly, picks it up. Spit it out, you bastard! Spit it out! Is that better? No. It See? only works. It only works if you do the accents. Well, I don't have. Well, then you tell the joke. I don't have you accents. You tell the dope joke. You already told the joke. <laughs> if you're gonna tell the joke. You have to do the accents if you're doing international. Spit it out, you bastard! I can't. No, I can't. Spit out. The... Spit it out, you bastard! There you go. That's that's what the fly heard. I can tell that was a bad joke, but I'm not going to. I know the Hebbles all love the joke because they made me tell the joke 20 times. Every time somebody walked in the door, I had to retell that joke. I wonder if I get it's in trouble for telling it. because you're so punny. I wonder if I get in trouble for telling Probably. it. Probably. Yeah. It's you too. And I want to keep this kid friendly too, so I better not tell it. So. Yeah, it's you too. All right. And that's the stage you rated. Hmm. You know who else might be watching this video? Because they said it was like a soap opera. They were quite entertained. It was Jackie and Miguel. So by the way, Jackie, thanks for the chocolates. You know, Jackie and I have been friends for like 34 years. And 
I don't know the last time we talked about the chocolate I liked, but she got me Bordeaux bars, and those are my favorite. Now, I don't know how she remembers that. It was so long ago. What you got? Anything? It's time to wrap it up. You're wrapping it up? It's been five minutes. Oh, well, apparently he thinks it's Christmas and we need to wrap this up like a gift. So, yeah. cheers. Oh, you don't have any left. That's of course right. not. You chose yours. I don't wait. <laughs> And on that note, happy fourth day of Christmas, Merry Christmas, and it's coming. we'll see you next time. And if you have suggestions, drop them down below. Let us know. Bye.